so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! <laughs> Who wants puppy kisses? You want some puppy kisses? <laughs> Cute puppies! Oh, this place is so cool! We're at Wallace Annenberg Pet Space! Yeah, and today we get to meet an adult puppy friend to get ready for adoption to go home with a forever family and be happy! <laughs> okay, these puppies are so fun, but we should keep looking. Come on! Hi, friends! Over here! Whoa! An orange slide! <laughs> Only one thing to do! <laughs> Let's go! <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! This place is amazing! Puppies and slides! Woo! <laughs> Excuse me up there. Have you seen a dog named Penny? What's that? Do you do? <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> it's Penny. Okay. Let's keep looking for Penny. This is what she looks like. <laughs> Three, two, one. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Ooh, yummy! This hamster's having a little snack. <laughs> Enjoy your lunch! Hey! Hi! I'm Mika, nice to meet you. I'm Lulu, nice to meet you. Hey, Lulu. Who's this? This is Carla, our cockatiel. Oh, hello, Carla! <laughs> She's having a quick snack break before her shower. Mmm. Yeah, would you like to help me give her a shower? Sure! Okay, Carla, you ready for bath time? <laughs> squeeze, squeeze, pump. Tweet, tweet, tweet. La, 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 la. I love to sing in the shower. Does that mean she's all clean? Yeah, so this helps her, her <laughs> feathers stay dust free. It also helps her nares, which are like her nose area, oh. stay nice and clear of all those little nasty germs. Would you like to meet some of our other critters? I'd love to. Great. <laughs> oh, look. This friend has four legs, a hard shell, and walks very slow. Let's meet him. OK, <laughs> so this is our box turtle, Tommy. Hey, Tommy. We don't know how old he is. It's a mystery. But he's very <laughs> sweet, and he kind of just runs the whole show here in Critter Corner. Um, he loves fruits and veggies as a snack, so I brought you a piece of broccoli Ooh. to feed him. <gasps> broccoli! Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a little tree. Hey, Tommy, would you like some broccoli? Here you go. Yum, yum, yum! Enjoy your broccoli! Have a turtle-rific day! <laughs> All right, so this is our oh. California king snake, Sally. Hey, Sally. She's about two years old. Um, <laughs> would you like to meet her? I can bring her out. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the back of the body. Uh-huh. And we're gonna gently grab her. Now, if she at any point wants to get off of me, that's totally fine. Here's Sally. Wow, Sally is so long. Oh yeah, she's a good girl. <laughs> Hi, Sally, it's me, Mika. <laughs> She says, hello, Mika. Oh, do you know what those colors are? Yeah, brown and beige. Oh, look at that long tongue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so she's sniffing at her home. You see her tongue coming out? Yeah. She's like, this is my home. I'm going to go back. Oh, he's nice and snug in there. Mm -hmm. She says, nice to meet you. Oh, slither back home, Sally. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Who's that? This is Harvey. He's our hamster. She is about two and a half years old, which is actually an adult age for hamsters. And this is his little home. Oh, looks so cozy. It is. <gasps> Wait, 
Is this what I think it is? It is. Check out this hamster wheel. <laughs> the hamster's running this round circle, round and around and around. Oh, I wish there was a human-sized hamster wheel. That could be really fun. <laughs> Lily loves that thing. I bet it looks like a great time. It is. <laughs> So this is Harvey's favorite activity. Would you like to see him roll around? Oh yeah. All right, so I'll let you see what he does. He already knows what to do. Oh, which way do I go? Which way do I go? Wee! This is his favorite activity. So he does it at least once a day, a couple times a week. Helps keep him uh, in shape and yeah. healthy. Great exercise. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was nice meeting you, friend. And I'll see you later, Lily. See you later. <laughs> <gasps> Check it out. My wish came true. <laughs> A giant hamster wheel. Ooh, I'll name it the Mika wheel and give it a try. Come on. <laughs> Treat for me. Hand it over. <laughs> Give it. Hello, friends. Would you like to play with this toy? Here you go. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, did you know kitty cats use their whiskers to help them see? Whoa, that's so cool. Yeah, they move around their whiskers to sense what's around them. Here you go. Do you like to play? <laughs> yeah! Oh, so cute. <laughs> hey, another fun fact is kitties, they can jump six times their height. That's really high, kitty cat. <laughs> Wait, I was supposed to be looking for Penny. That's right, let's keep looking. That means goodbye. <laughs> Over here. Check it out. It's the dog we've been looking for. Penny. <laughs> What's that? She's right behind me? Oh, let's go meet her. Hello, Penny. I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> Here she comes. Hey, Lulu. Hi. Okay, so you wanna meet Penny? Yeah, is it okay if I pet her? Yeah, so the first rule is to always ask the handler if it's okay to meet your dog. Very important. And then you're gonna get down to their level, see? Now we're at the same level. You're gonna <laughs> offer Penny your hand so she can sniff you, get to know you. <laughs> I think she likes me. And then you can get two fingers like this and then go down her back. Oh, wow! Oh, what? <laughs> She's so friendly. But remember, it's important to ask the adult with the dog if it's okay to pet and how they like to be pet. Yes. Does Penny like scratches? She does like scratches and she prefers to be pet under the chin, not over the head. Oh, oh, that's a little scary. Okay. May I pet you under your chin? Oh, yeah, lots of scratches. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet, Betty. Oh, 
Pissant. Under here. Yes. Right. Under the chin. There you go. Much better. Do you want to help me put on her dot me vest? Sure. She looks ready to go. Perfect. Do you have treats on you or do you need some? I do. I have some in my jam pack. Perfect. You can feed her treats. Hey, Penny. I have a treat for you. Ooh. Yeah. Such a good dog. <laughs> Perfect. Do you want to clip the bottom one? Yes, please. All set under your belly. All done. <gasps> okay, can I take her outside? Yes. There you go. <laughs> Come on, Penny, let's go play. <laughs> Bye, Penny. <laughs> See ya. Hey, I think I have something for you, Penny, in my jam bag. Ooh. <laughs> Do you like a treat? Would you like a treat, Penny? Go get the treat! Oh, good girl. <laughs> I hope you're happy with your new family. It was so nice getting you ready today, Penny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you know that a dog's nose is just like our fingerprints? Yeah. Just how no two people have the same fingerprints no two dogs have the same nose. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that was so much fun. I hope Penny and her new family are very, very happy. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Okay, friends. Bark. See you later. <laughs> We're coding, we're co co coding We're going to code! <laughs> I'm so excited! Hi, it's me, Mika, and today I'm at the Urban League Bay Area in Oakland, California. And we are going to learn how to code computers. We're gonna meet new friends, play some games. Will you come and play and learn with me? Oh, amazing! Let's robot out of here. Let's go. Let's play beep up, boop beep. Hi! Mika, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Ken Maxey, and great to see you here. Oh, what do you do here? Well, I'm the CEO of the Urban League of the San Francisco Bay Area, and I'm so happy to have you here. We're a civil rights organization focused on African Americans in underserved communities. Oh, that's really cool. One of the things that we focus on today is with kids. And so Kids Teach Tech is a program that focuses on coding as well as making games for kids. Oh, I really like playing games. Are we gonna play a game today? We sure are. Oh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna play a parachute game and that's gonna bring everybody together just like computer parts do. Whoa, that's yeah. very cool. All right, well, let's do it. Let's do it, ready? Yeah. Let's go. Okay, come right. on. Hi, everyone. Hi. This is my friend, Mika. Hi. Could I play with you? Oh, I have an idea. Should we try and keep the ball up in the air on the parachute? Yeah. Should we try and bounce up in the air? Okay, let's do it. Whoa. I got it. All right, thank you. Put it back in the middle and then grab your handle. See, ah. we're working together. All right, freeze, freeze, freeze. Whoa, good listening. We work together, huh, to keep that ball on the parachute. I think that calls for a 10 second dance party. Will you dance? Let's all dance. Hi. Hi. I'm Mika, what are your names? I'm Ava. And I'm Tara. Hi Ava, hi Tara. And we're, and we're coding, coding teachers. teachers. Coding teachers, and what's coding? Coding is when you tell a computer what to do. Oh, kind of like the game Tara says or Ava says? Exactly. Yeah. Would you like to play a game with Mika says? Yeah, that sounds really fun. Let's do it. Hi. Do you want to play a game with me? Yeah. 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 What if we played Mika says? Yeah. yeah. And you can play too. Do you know how to play Mika says? Yes. Okay, so when I say Mika says, you have to do whatever I say, but don't do it if I don't say Mika says. So for example, if I say, Mika says, cover your eyes. Mika says, pat your belly. Hop like a frog. 
Whoa, good listening, because I didn't say Mika says. Okay, ready to play for real? Yeah. yeah. Okay, ready? Mika says, jump up and down. Mika says, stomp like a dinosaur. Ooh, I like your roars. Mika says, roar. Roar, 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 roar. Mika says, turn around. Pat your knees. Oh, I didn't say Mika says. You have to really listen, right? Okay, Mika says, show me your best dance move. Ooh, Mika says, purr like a kitty cat. Meow, meow, meow. Mika says, bark like a dog. Jump up and down again. No, oh, oh, I didn't say Mika says. Mika says, clap your hands. Good job! Wow, that was excellent work, coders! That's similar to how a computer works. Oh, that's right, because you give a computer instructions and then the computer knows what to do. Correct! And anyone can code, even two-year-old Maya, code using blocks. No way! That's so cool! <gasps> that gives me a great idea for another game. What if we played Freeze Dance? Let's do it! Are you ready to play? Yeah! yeah. And will you play too? Amazing! Okay, so when the music's on, we're gonna dance right and do our best dance moves. And then when the music stops, you freeze. Everyone know how to play? Yeah! All right, let's dance! <laughs> Whoa, good freeze. Are you frozen? Mm -hmm. Nice. Should we dance again? Frozen? <laughs> you are so good at freeze dance. Should you dance one more time? <laughs> wow, you are so good at freeze dance. Hey, it's like you all are like a computer and I was like a coder giving you instructions. That's so cool. Great job, computer. Everyone, I have some really cool gold stars to give you. Good job playing freeze dance and using good listening ears. Here you are. Here you are. You want a sticker? There you go. Good job, everyone. And good job to you, too. Hey, you two. Hi. I heard that you are both really good coders, so I bet you really know your way around a computer, huh? Did yeah. you know that a phone is a computer? A phone is a computer? Yeah, that's right, a really small computer. I did know that a computer's memory is called RAM. And hey, we used our RAM earlier when we played all those games to remember what to do. Correct. And some other cool things to know, there's a lady named Katherine Johnson who was known as the human computer. She helped astronauts land on the moon. Yeah, I've heard of her, a really smart coder who inspired a lot of people to become space cadets and work for NASA. Wouldn't it be cool to be a space cadet? Yes. yes. And also Mae Jemison. Mae was the first black woman to travel into space. She served as a mission specialist aboard the space shuttle Endeavour. Oh, that's amazing. Two really smart coders. And you're two smart coders. What are you working on over there? Puppy, puppy party. Puppy party? Let's check it out. Oh, look at those cute puppies. I know, they're adorable. <laughs> they are. And what's all this? This is our code. Oh, is the code kind of like the instructions? Of course. Oh, neat. So once we finish the game, it'll look like this. So we go around, tag all the puppies, Aww. the little cuties, Aww. and then and at the end, you <gasps> dance. Wow, that's so fun. I can't believe you two created this game all by yourselves. I'm so impressed. Thank you for showing us all of that. Now let's dance out of here like puppies. Dance like puppies, yes please. Come on. <laughs> Wow, that was so much fun. Hey, let's keep playing. Mika says run in a circle. Ready? Mika says do four jumping jacks. One, two, three, four. Mika says 
take a break. <sighs> Wait a second. Did I just code myself? <laughs> that was so cool. What a fun day learning and playing at Urban League Bay Area. We learned how to code computers and I think it's really cool that a phone is a computer. A really small computer. <laughs> This is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, I'll see you later. <gasps> Mika says, bounce like a ball. Boing. Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And I'm so excited because today we get to meet someone very special, Sean Johnson. <laughs> John is an Olympic gold medal gymnast. Gymnastics is a cool sport where you get to do lots of fun things with your body. It takes a lot of practice, strength, flexibility. <laughs> and Sean is gonna show us some cool moves at the Nashville Gymnastics Training Center. I can't hardly wait. Woohoo! here we go. Woo! Oh, hi. <laughs> hey, Sean, I'm Mika, nice to meet you. It's so great to meet you. <laughs> you too. Will you show us some gymnastics? I would love to, but first we need to stretch and warm up to stay safe. Oh, right, cause yes. first things first, Safety first. Yes. So let's stretch our arms first, just kind All of right. across. Arms first. Yes. <laughs> How old were you when you started doing gymnastics? I actually started gymnastics when I was two years old. Whoa. I came into the gym and I just got to run around and I loved it. Oh, that sounds so yes. fun. Yes, it's kind <laughs> of like a playground, mm -hmm. but it's really soft and cushy so you can do a lot of flips and stuff and stay safe. Oh, that's so yes. important. Let's stretch our legs next right okay, here. Sean. So grab the back, it takes some balance though. Whoa, you're really good at balancing. Yes, how a lot of practice. Yes, how often did you practice? So when I started at the age of two, I only went for like one hour, one time a week. But as I got older and I got better at it, I kind of went more and more hours. Wow. Um, it takes a lot of practice to go to the Olympics. It really does. Yes. Yeah. And how many Olympic medals do you have? I have four Olympic medals. Oh. I have a gold on the balance beam, and I have a silver on the floor, and on the team, and on the all around. Whoa. <laughs> yes. What are the differences between the medal colors? Yes. So the gold is number one. It's like the first place. And silver <laughs> is number two, second place. Nice. Yes. And then there's another one too, right? There's a bronze, which is third place. And did you ever lose? I did, a lot. I lost a lot of competitions, but I actually liked it better. Whenever I would make mistakes, it was so rewarding to come back into the gym and work on it and get better and like feel good inside. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's okay if you make mistakes. It's just an opportunity for growth. Yes. Okay, so let's sit down a little bit and stretch a little bit more before we get started. Okay, <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Oh, it's okay to be nervous. I get nervous a lot. You do? Yes. What do you do when you get nervous? I practice so that I feel more confident. I trust myself and I say, I can do this. Mm. And I ask my coach if I'm ready. I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> now lean forward a little bit. Put your feet out in front of you. And touch your toes. Touch those toes. <laughs> I do think we're ready to get started. Oh, yay! Are you excited? I'm so excited. Okay, let's go do it. Here we go. <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, that was so cool. <laughs> Thank you. Can you teach me something on the beam? I can, but first we're gonna start on the low beam and progressively work our way here. Great idea. Okay. Progressively means we take it one step at a time. Yes. Until you feel comfortable and much better. So we're gonna start at this end of the beam. Okay. <laughs> and you're gonna step up here. Okay, here I go. So the key to gymnastics is keeping all of your muscles squeezed as tight as possible. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That helps us not fall off the beam. Right. If you do fall off the beam, it's okay. We'll just right. get back up and try again. Do you ever fall? I fall a lot. 
but with practice, you get more confident and better at your skills so you fall less. Right. Okay, so arms will go straight out to the side. Bloop. You can, I think you got this one. Oh, thanks. You kind of kind of look right down at the beam to mm -hmm. make sure you walk in a straight line. Okay. And we're just gonna walk forward. Okay. Walk one, one two, two, three, three, four. Four. Okay, nice. now we're gonna walk backwards. Oh, that sounds tricky. So the thing with this is you're gonna feel for the beam and then plant your foot. Make sure you look down. Feel for the beam. For the plant. Beam. And you're gonna go back till you feel the end of the beam. Okay. And when you feel the end, you're gonna stop. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> Keep feeling. Keep feeling. <gasps> there you are. Yay, I'm ready to the end. <laughs> so now we're gonna do flamingo walk. Okay. You're gonna take a step. Hmm. Flamingo. Flamingo. Step. Flamingo. Ska, ska. <laughs> oh, there flamingo. we go. Step. Flamingo. Step. Flamingo. Now, in gymnastics, we yes. always like to be barefoot uh -huh. because being able to feel the beam with our bare feet helps us have more control. It probably safer. makes it less slippery, too. Yes. So, one more. Flamingo. Good job. <laughs> okay, next skill, we're gonna try a scale. Uh huh. I don't know why they call it this, but it's just the name. You're gonna take your dominant side, which is usually the same side of your body you write with. My right hand side. Yes, and for some reason, I think one side of your body is just usually stronger. So we Ooh. favor that in gymnastics. Okay. So you take your dominant side, mm -hmm. lean forward, arms out, and scale down. Whoa! And scale back up. Scale down. <gasps> and scale back up. Good job. <laughs> that takes a lot of strength and a lot of balance. Mm -hmm. Okay, last one. Are you ready? I'm ready. So with this one, we're actually going to do a jump. <gasps> Whoa. Now, for all the kids watching, make sure you always have a coach with you and you don't do anything your coach doesn't say is safe for you. Okay. Okay. Is but it I safe, think you're Sean? ready. I think you're ready okay. for this. Coach says we're ready. <laughs> so when you jump, you want to squeeze all your muscles super tight. You're going to go down, jump, down. So okay. bend, straight, bend. And squeeze all those muscles together. Okay. Make sure you look at the beam, too. There we go. Ready? Here we go. Whoa! It's okay. We can try it again. Count to ten and try again. <gasps> Will you count to ten with us? Oh, great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Try again. Okay, here we go. Remember, squeeze your muscles, mm -hmm. squeeze all everything together, and I think you got this one by yourself. Are you ready? Okay. Make sure you look at the beam. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Good job! Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think you're ready for the big beam. <gasps> okay, let's try the big beam. Let's go. So with the big beam, I personally think the hardest part is just climbing up. So I'll help you climb up and then I can hold your hand through the whole thing. Okay, it's really tall. I know. But it might feel tall, but nothing's changed. It's the same beam as down there. Mm -hmm. And you are so confident and strong, I know you can do it up here. Thanks, Sean. Let's do it. <laughs> This is tricky. Whoa! Does it feel a little higher? Yeah, I feel a little nervous. It's okay, remember, tell yourself, I can do this. Take a deep breath and know that your coach, myself, <laughs> believes you can do it too. I can do this. <sighs> deep breaths. And make sure if you're at home, you don't try any of this without a coach or without a gym because safety is definitely first. Mm -hmm. Most Good important. Job. Okay, you've kind of mastered the forward walking. Let's try the backward. Okay. Okay, <laughs> look at the beam, squeeze all your muscles, Build feel your behind foot. you, and plant your foot. <laughs> Good job. Good job, let's take two more steps. Okay, one, one <gasps> two. Okay, are you ready for your flamingos? Yes. Okay, let's try four this time. Four flamingos. Yeah. Here we go. One, two, three, four flamingos. Good job. Spa, spa, spa. 
Are you ready for your jump? I'm ready. Okay, so Whoa. here, I'm actually gonna get on the beam with you and okay. help you with your jump. So, what we're gonna do, I'll show you. You feel my hands? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a small jump. Keep every muscle really tight, just like that. I'm gonna hold your hands, you use me for balance. You're gonna squeeze everything together, go down, jump, down, and you're good. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, make sure you look at the beam. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Whoa! Good job! <laughs> that was really good. That was fun. You wanna try one more? Yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <gasps> good job! Whoa! I'm so proud of you. Oh, I think you've shot. mastered the beam. Do you wanna to go to the floor? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that beam was so fun! I was so proud of you. You did such a good job. Oh, thank you, John. <laughs> and the medal goes to... <gasps> Mika! Mika! <laughs> so, now that we're on the floor, I thought I could teach you another new skill. Oh, great! But first, can you do a cartwheel? Oh, yes. I love doing cartwheels. Do you mind showing me your cartwheel? I'd be happy to. Okay, let's see it. <laughs> That's a really good cartwheel. Oh, thank Since you, you already know how to do a cartwheel, mm -hmm. how about we take the next step and we learn a round off? Sounds great, a okay. round off? A round off is like a cartwheel, but instead of landing one foot at a time, you put your feet together. Whoa. Yeah, it's a foundational skill in gymnastics that you learn before you learn all the big flips, like flips and tricks. Oh, yes, yes. that sounds great. Okay, so I'll show you first. Uh huh. The cartwheel, just like you did, is pretty simple like this. Mm -hmm. One foot after another. So what you're going to do is, when you're upside down, your uh -huh. feet will come together and land together. Kind of like this. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> and this might sound silly, but the floor, you want to push it away as hard as you can. Okay. That's what kind of gives you that speed to kind of jump off the floor. All right. Okay, are you ready to try one? Sure. I'd Let's give it a, a shot. It's okay if we make mistakes. We'll work on it. That's true. That's what I learned on the beam. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, here I go. Whoa. <laughs> Good job. Good job. So we also want to try to keep our legs as straight as we can. Okay. And a little trick for that is if you point your toes as hard as you can, your legs will naturally straighten. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's try one more time. Sure. That was a lot better. Oh, Yay! I'm so proud of you again. That's another <laughs> new skill. Thank you so much, Sean. Of course. That was awesome. Good job. <laughs> <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> that was so cool. Thank you. Do you think I could do that someday? I think with a lot of practice and hard work, you definitely could. Oh, thank you for showing me all those skills. You did such a good job on the beam, on the floor. I was really proud of you. Oh yeah, we had such a busy day today. We learned how to do <gasps> balancing walks on the beam and skills. <laughs> and we learned how to do a round off at the end of our cartwheels. Yes. Oh, we also learned that there's a side of your body that's usually stronger than the other side. Yeah. And that's the side we usually use in gymnastics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Can you spell my name with me? S-H-A-W-N, Sean! <laughs> Bye, friends! Oh, I'd like to keep practicing, please. Me too. <laughs>